What breaks my heart is to realize that somebody living here with eight people in their tent, many of them came from large homes, large farms, doctors, professors, teachers. They had lives and they're here with a very uncertain future. We're in Cabarto camp. This is a camp of about 30,000 people. The population here is mostly Yazidi, um, which is a distinct religious and ethnic group. Parents have lost their capacity to be parents because they're dealing with their own trauma. Children need extra help and attention, and youth are very much lost in the fray. The families are coming back from tremendous conflict, and they've experienced a lot of trauma. In a camp like this, it's in the middle of nowhere. So due to the lack of funding, most NGOs have moved out of this area, but Samaritan's Purse is moving in. We have an outstanding staff that have instincts for working with children and have training to do it as well. We will be providing, when construction is finished, a child-friendly space for kids ages 3 to 5 and their mothers, and then 6 up to 18, art, music, sports, recreation, the works. We have a playground that was installed two or three months ago and it has been wall to wall. Hey, my name is Matthew. I'm with Samaritan's Purse in Northern Iraq. And right behind me, you'll see a few hundred kids playing on a playground. The quality is unbelievable. These are Yazidi children who have fled from ISIS, trapped on Mount Sinjar. Most of them went by foot into Syria and then dropped back down into northern Iraq. Grace Community Center is here to serve the people of Hanke Camp. Uh, we have a multi-functioning center designed to reach the family. We have carpentry class for men, sewing class for women, we have an art class, a photography class, a computer class, and a child-friendly space. We are also developing our medical clinic, which will have dental services, OBGYN, general practitioner services, and pharmaceutical services. One of the best things about this center is just to be able to bring people together and to see them uh, heal with each other and start to talk again and start to trust people again. For Samaritan's Purse Northern Iraq, our mission is to build relationships to be able to share the love of Christ. I love the fact that we can be here helping this community. They have experienced so much trauma and so much heartbreak and so much violence that we can exist as a place of peace and safety is a huge deal. In installing the site here, we have had a ton of favor and a warm reception by the community. I would ask for continued steadfast prayers, and we want to radiate a footprint for God's glory throughout this place.